What is up, Human Nation? So today's video I'm going to be reacting to is Unexpected Moments in UFC MMA. Brought to you by the YouTube channel Funny MMA. So I saw the UFC fight last night between Gagey and... I forgot the other guy's name, the guy who got beat the fuck. He looked like a bag of meat at the end. Three rounds. Those two guys were tough as hell. Man, I gotta start going back to watch UFC. That, that was insane. But well, let's see what we got here in unexpected moments in UFC, UFC MMA. Let's do this. Here we go. Tonight's clock brought to you by like a goddamn spider. Oh. <laughs> what a beast that guy is behind. <laughs> George St. <Saint> Pierre. <laughs> Normal, how did this get on? Boom! <laughs> that is George St. Pierre, isn't it? What you wait right now? Right now, I am at two sections. <laughs> They're just fucking around with Dana White. <laughs> this is for John. Hey, John. Uh, you're 30 now. So I'm wondering, uh, as you turn 30, I guess on the 19th of July, what would you say about your 20s? Was it good? Was it bad? Was it somewhere in between? How would you look back on that, that decade in your um, life? I don't really like you, Luke, so I'm not going to answer your question. <laughs> oh, damn. Bro. Savage. Oh shit! Like a goddamn kangaroo just kicks him in the face. Both at the same time. When Joe Rogan had hair. And all that being said, man, all that being said. Diego Sanchez facing Clay Guida tonight. It's never an easy out. Don't ever oh, listen, step in front of camera. Somebody almost stepped in front of the camera. Yeah, that's now not listen, Clay Guida only puts this kid on the map. And we know that it, with this, you know, sport, it's not just about your fighting skills. It's about a little bit of marketing. And I mean, does he? Do you feel like he's got that star factor, Rob? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. And the kid just came back and met. With, and the kid just came back and met with me, and he's like, "Someone's getting fired." Ah, uh, Connor. One thing we've Best moments with Connor. Is submissions from his back. He can defend himself from his back. I'm sure he has submissions. Oh, Arbor! He's got it! He has got it right here! Detour Belfour! Looking to finish his fight! Joel's trying to power out of it! Oh! A lot of crucial grappling going on right now. Can he get it? He might break that arm, Mike. He might break that arm. Wow! You know what? It's a little high now. I think he's out. He's out. He's out. Wow. Oh! That's one thing we hadn't seen from Vitor before. But he just shows he has it. Vitor is a beast. He showed he has it. Hey, look, you're right here with John Bones Jones. You guys are partying together? He's here. Look right behind you, dog. Hey! <laughs> hey this is great. Let's go. <laughs> what you doing? What are you doing? Punch him in the gut. Let's see what happens. Oh! <laughs> Yo, UFC Light Heavyweight Champion here, John Bones Jones, getting cut up on my man's face. Shout out to my man's face. Here with the real champ, the one and the only. Fuck you, DC. Come and get his belt back. You gonna put your bitch ass on the mat, bro? <laughs> Wait, I need to see this again. I need to see that again. DC, come and get his belt back. You gonna put your bitch ass on the mat, bro? On the map, <laughs> bro. Wait. He went to grab her in his dick? What's going on here? 
you can sit here and come up with any adjective to describe your feelings, but um, there was something in here. <laughs> there was nothing on that in the in the octagon. They gave me nothing in it. I guess there was something in this. This that sucked. Why wouldn't there be anything in it? Get it? Kind of weird, but okay. Whose backwash was this? Woo! Third time they've been scheduled to fight. Now they're just Woo! hours away. Whoa! And twenty four percent legitimately scared me right there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love this guy. He fucking did it to me again. <laughs> you mentioned on numerous occasions that you don't want to be fighting past the age of 35, which is about two and a half years away, if I'm not mistaken. Have, have you in, the, in, in your camp created a blueprint as to what you want to do? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about how soon and, and stuff I want to fight. You know, whenever fights come up and stuff like that, you know, it's, I haven't gave a whole lot of thought. And for Congo? Dude, it, what? It doesn't make any sense, though. But whatever, okay. Uh, Sheikh. Um, you often talk about the belt, about the title shot. Um, after the impressive win of Mir tonight, do you really feel you're ready to get it? I started fighting that I wouldn't fight past uh, 35. That's that's all. That's all I I knew. When I when I get 35, I feel like I'd be an old man for this sport. So you know, what I'm saying I just decided that years ago. So you know, I got a lot of things I want to do. I got these finger painting things I really love doing. <laughs> Donc tu as souvent parlé de, de la ceinture, est-ce que tu te sens vraiment prêt à avoir un, un title shot et à défendre ton titre So you know, to to is it is it wrong? Translation please. Translation. I really love that stuff. He's Finger still talking. Oh, man. He's pain. still going. I'm actually getting good at it now. I made a peacock the other day and <laughs> it was very beautiful. So, you know, when I retire, I think I'll be making a lot of finger paints and put it all over the house and stuff. <laughs> Might sell some on eBay if you guys are interested in it. Let me know. I'll make more. Thank you. <laughs> oh, goddamn rapping Jackson. I missed that guy. Shilling his own shirt. Yeah. In that battle with Tom Watson. Again, it's looking like, uh, it's looking like Andrews has done his research as well. I've, I've, I've missed something <laughs> there, but the crowd have really <laughs> started laughing. Next up, fact or fiction, Travis Brown will fight for the title in 2012. Could you imagine? <laughs> Are we live? We are live. Uh, no, what title? UFC title? Yes. No, <laughs> Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for, I'm going to fight your You know what's the real fight, what's the real money fight is me, not these clowns that you already punked at the press conference. Yeah. <laughs> so I brought my big brother over there, just in case somebody gets out of hand again. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming for you. You know, I follow you. Oh damn. Yo voy a hacer tu pesadilla, brother. Wherever were you going, I go. Remember, I see you son. Boy. Boy. I honestly, someone had to tell me who he was, so uh, I don't know. Guy's got a chip on his shoulder. Great stuff, Michael. And after 25 UFC fights, man, we're we're pushing for you to get that next title shot, man. Really appreciate you. Oh no, time. wait, wait, wait. One, one, one more question. Have you spat on somebody lately? Baz, this is what I'm talking about. Every, every time I come on this show, it's a joke, Michael. Kenny Rice, Baz Rutan, you're always talking smack. No, 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 listen, every time I come on this show, you always say, Buzz, you know what, you're saying that I spar. I've heard some pretty freaky things about you back in Amsterdam, what you used to get up to. You don't want me mentioning that, do you? Right. Insane. Right, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you got to be this little baby, right, coming back at me. Like, oh, you said something. Yeah, you, you didn't you start it, though? Is that what's going down right But now? you started it, though, didn't you? You know what, Buzz, if I was in that studio now, I've heard things about it. I if you were in that like, studio, I would talk. I would say it right in your face. That was what we have. Man, you I be tell, quiet. I tell you what, Baz, Baz, you, you're an old man. You're an old man. Yeah, okay? right, right. What are you going to do? Place, right? What are you going to do, done. Michael? This is every time, you know, with you. But you're so thick-skinned, man. You, that Baz, Baz, you know, I, okay. I, I, I was a fan of yours. Uh, do you know what? I'm done. Never speak to me again. Why, you know, like how we need it, you know? Like we need this guy. You, Stupid English girl.
It's always the same thing with him. What? I mean, I don't understand. But you started it, though. You yeah, started it, though. I don't need this guy anymore. No, do you know what, Baz, actually? I'm still here. Oh, he came back. Kiss my ass, my big British ass. Yeah? All right. Let's <laughs> do the same. Oh, hey! <laughs> Well, that's kind of weak. Wow. Now, now, hope we pulled off an Oscar performance and people are going to believe this thing. Michael Bisping, thanks for the time, buddy. <laughs> I still, you know, I, I still want my fair fight, man. I didn't get my fair fight. I want my fair shot. He used to play mind games with George St. Pierre. While Penn's accusations throughout the Grease Gate saga are an attempt to smear GSP's good guy image, the champ has already plotted his revenge. It, it doesn't bother me. In a way that it bothered me, just that he said that I'm a liar, I'm a cheater. That's you don't want to piss him off, George Xavier. He's a gentleman, but a the beast in the octagon. Piss him off even more. It's helping. Tell you, Kenny Florian to kick his ass, and that's what I'm gonna do. Saint Pierre was absent during Tuesday's hearing with the Nevada State Athletic Commission. God damn. Saint Pierre set the record straight with his own version of what really went down at UFC 94, sort of. You know what? This whole thing is over. Uh, we went in court and Mike, we win, but he keep talking <clears throat> and uh, you know what, I'm tired, I'm going to tell you the truth. Yes, I did cheat. I did Dude. cheat everybody. Why would you I say that? I don't feel the pressure anymore, I'm falling apart. Love that facial expression. I did cheat, but not in a way that people think. If you look at the fight closely in BJ Penn entry to the octagon, when he's walking to the octagon, you can see how I cheat. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it I is. hire a man to kiss BJ Penn on the mouth on his way to the octagon. And at that precise moment, BJ Penn lost all his strength and all his focus, and the fight was mine. Uh -huh. cheat, yes, but not with the Vaseline. By hiring a man to kiss him in the mouth. It wasn't on the mark. Okay, that doesn't make any goddamn sense. I'm so confused. I am so confused. <laughs> but yeah, that was great though. Ah. Anyway, I need to see. I don't know anymore. I'm gonna leave it as that. Anyways, that's it for now, Human Nation. Humanoid freak out. Bye. Pasito a pasito, suave suavecito, nos vamos pegando poquito a poquito.